Hello viewers! Does your car struggle when idling doesn't accelerate as it should or even stalls occasionally? Well, given the complexity of modern engines, that can be caused by many things. But one thing that's always worth trying is cleaning the throttle body and, if possible, recalibrating it afterward. While there is no guarantee this will solve the issue, it won't hurt either as these things tend to get dirty and all covered with gunk. And the best thing is, this is usually easy enough for any of you to do by yourself. Let me guide you through. To clean the throttle body, you first need to find it, which means it's time to pop the hood. Due to the nature of its job, which is controlling how much air is going into the intake, the throttle plate will always be somewhere on its intake. Basically, look for the air filter, then follow the air ducting until you reach the intake manifold. And on its front side there will be a shiny metal lump just like this. That's your throttle plate. And it would be pretty much the same if you look under the hood of another car, as it would be here for instance. Sometimes, however, you might not be able to see the throttle body at first, as it may be hidden by the engine cover or the intake manifold itself. If you're having trouble finding the throttle body in your own car, leave a question in the comment section below. Someone will surely know the answer. Having found the throttle body, you can now remove it from the engine. Sure, cleaning it right on the spot might seem like a tempting option, but this is not a good idea in any way. You don't want all the cleaner you'll be using to end up inside the intake manifold. That's even more when you consider how easily the throttle body is removed, and especially in newer cars. For a start, remove the air hose that connects the throttle body to the air filter. This is usually just a jubilee clip, uh, which is undone with a screwdriver or a socket. Then unplug the wiring connector. Don't plug the securing tab too hard or you might break it. These things can become brittle over the years. Many older cars have a cable operated throttle and if that's the case with your car, you'll need to disconnect the cable. This is not hard. Just remove the retaining clip that holds its end in the place and that's it. Newer cars have an electronic fly-by wire throttle, so there is no cable here. Next, take a ratchet and a suitable socket. It will most likely be a 10 mil and undo the bolts holding the throttle body in place. Be careful not to lose these bolts, put them somewhere safe. Now, with all that done, you can remove the throttle body from the engine bay. It may take some maneuvering if the space is tight, so take your time. So there you have it, one throttle body removed from the engine. Simple, isn't it? See how dirty and covered with gunk it is, which surely must affect its operation. And now it's time to give it a good cleaning. First things first, get some gloves and protective glasses. The cleaner really dries out your skin, and you don't want that. And you especially don't want it squirting into your eye. Trust me, that hurts. With all that sorted out, take the throttle body and put it in an oil drain tray or something similar. This is to prevent the cleaner from draining all over your work table or floor as you work along. And when the throttle body is as clogged as this, it will take a lot of cleaning until you're all done. Now take a screwdriver and with it push the throttle plate to a fully open position. By doing so, you'll have full access to all bits and parts. Next stop, take a can of throttle body cleaner, or brake cleaner, it works equally well, and spray the throttle body and all its components from both sides. Give it a good thorough soaking, and then leave the cleaner to dissolve the gunk for several minutes. So with that done, take a workshop towel or some rug and clean off whatever gunk may have left. Another practical tool here is the toothbrush. Make sure that you clean off the flat valves and the both sides of the throttle body. To be honest, these edges where the throttle plate sits on the housing are the most important places to clean it. Finally, once all this is done, reinstall the throttle body and refit the intake hoses you've removed at the start. And make sure everything is tight and in its place while doing so. Once the throttle body is fitted back on, you'll probably have to run it through a learning procedure to get it to work perfectly. The best way of doing this is by using an OBD2 scanner, which you'll use to start a calibration procedure, during which the car CCU will find out where the fully closed and fully open positions are. 
Basically, what you do is plug in the scanner, scroll through the menus until you find the throttle calibration function, and then follow the on-screen directions. The exact procedure, however, differs depending on the vehicle and the scanner you're using. However, if you don't have a scanner, or your device cannot perform these procedures, here are some alternatives to consider. One thing you can try is fire up the car and see how it runs. There is always a chance it'll recalibrate itself, although it might run a bit high and rough for a few minutes. If your car doesn't idle or run properly even after several minutes, shut it off and try the pedal method. Start by turning on the ignition, but without firing up the engine. With the dashboard lit up, wait for 5 seconds, then fully press the throttle and hold it like that for 20 seconds. Then slowly release the throttle pedal, wait 10 more seconds and turn off the engine. Lastly, some cars just need to be driven around for a few miles at constant speed, during which you'll slowly accelerate and decelerate slightly. This should allow the ECU to figure out everything about the throttle body it needs to know. In the end, let me briefly explain you how the throttle body works and why it needs to be cleaned occasionally. The throttle body's job is to control the amount of air going into the engine as this ultimately determines its speed. In terms of construction, this is no more than a short metal pipe with a plate inside. When you press the throttle pedal, this plate opens up allowing more air to pass through, and when you release the throttle, it closes. In older cars, the throttle body is mechanically operated with a cable connected directly to the throttle pedal. Most modern cars, though, have a so-called fly-by-wire throttle body, where an ECU-controlled strapper motor does all the mechanical work. The most common problem here is oily dirt deposits that form inside the throttle body's housing, which then obstruct airflow and, more importantly, reduce its ability to control the amount of incoming air. These deposits, the gunk that we saw being cleaned off earlier, are formed from dust in the incoming air and oily fumes coming through the engine's PCV system. So that's how you clean the throttle body and calibrate it afterward. As said, this really is an easy job, especially if you have an OBD scanner with a bit more advanced features. I hope this video was helpful, and if so, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. But if not, and your engine still isn't running right, you may have a more severe issue on your hands. So to continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site, mechanicbase.com, for more detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!